Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, you will learn how to create and maintain chart of account in the 65 for finance and operations. This is the first video in this series of general ledger module in D65 for finance and operations. Hi friends, my name is Ali Reza Zaidi. I'm ERP consultant currently working for business expert curve in the Middle East. In every D65 for finance and operation implementation, first step is to configure general ledger module. Finance is the core of ERP. And when we are going to configure general ledger module, the first important is chart of account. There are two possibilities of a chart of accounts in D65 for finance and operation. One is a company specific chart of accounts where every company has its unique chart of accounts. And then comes a shared chart of accounts. In a shared chart of accounts, more than one companies use the same chart of accounts. The scene of shared chart of account and company specific chart of accounts all depends on client's requirement. When you are going to configure chart of accounts in D65 for finance and operations, three things need to be into your mind. Number one, account number. Account number should be a unique as well as based on a industry specific best practices. Account type is used to describe how transaction will be posted or how account will be used in D65 for finance and operations. Basically two types of transactional accounts uh, are possible in D65 for finance and operations. First is used income statements, profit and loss types of accounts and then comes a balance sheet assets liability equities all or these accounts that is used in balance sheet and then comes account category account category purely used for our reporting purposes let's go towards a demonstration we have to, so this is the d65 for finance and operations vm install running on my local machine and now i'm going to create a new account and for this we have to go general journal general journal module from from this and then chart of accounts accounts and chart of accounts here are different chart of accounts configured for a different regions and suppose i am going to use saudi saudi arabia uh, because I'm currently working in a Middle East region, so I am configure. I'm going to configure something near to business uh, UAE. So currently, for example, there are multiple accounts here, and you can see. First of all, first of all, I already shared you account number, a main account. Main account type is asset. I can show you when I go to create. Uh, there are multiple account types are appear and then comes main account category and these are specifically for the reporting purposes well for current example i'm going to create a sub account or one more account for cash in hand and that is sar so i copied because i'm going to very near to it for this i have to click on a new main account so i'm going to create a new account of a cash in hand and i just change to existing cash in hand and uh, from last digit i instead to double zero i change it to zero one and i mentioned here cash in hand and here i mention uae and from account type there is multiple for profit and loss revenue expense are used for income statements related transactions balance sheet as well liability equity these are used for balance sheet so i considered it as an asset account and uh, account category i used that is solely that is used for our reporting purposes and so i change this default currency is aed So this is the way we can create account type in chart of account closing doors there are two things are important one thing is main account that is you have to follow some industry specific uh, standards and then you have to decide main account type that shows the either is a loss account a profit or loss account goes to income statement or either it goes to a balance sheet and then comes a uh, main category that is used for reporting purposes thank you for watching see you in the next video